<laughs> Hello? Linda and Nelson Carvery are amazed they can still Skype with Linda's 98-year-old mother. Did you miss me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I miss you, too. She survived COVID-19, but their 37-year-old son, Derek, who lived with cerebral palsy, did not. Both lived at the Northwood Long-Term Care Facility. It's the disease itself. It's, uh, it's unknown. We don't know what it does, where it goes, but we're learning. Nearly half of the residents at Northwood, more than 200, have been infected with COVID-19. 49 have died. That accounts for almost all of the deaths in the province. There's been far too many deaths and far too many cases of an outbreak that I've, I feel should never have happened in the first place. How did this happen? That's a good question, and we do have experts uh, on site working us, uh, working with us to uh, go through that. But staff coming to work uh, hadn't realized that they had been exposed and weren't displaying symptoms or minimal symptoms and continue to uh, come to work. This is also an old building, and unlike many newer facilities, residents here share rooms. Many are now moving into single rooms, but Northwood didn't have the capacity to do that in the early days of the pandemic. The facility started requiring staff to wear masks ahead of both the national and provincial guidelines, but in retrospect says it would have done so even earlier. This just reminds us that when you delay the implementing of key evidence-based pieces of information in a fast-moving pandemic, days you know, can actually translate into lives. The Premier is defending the response of both the province and Northwood. Uh, and long before the federal government made any protocols around long-term care, we locked down our long-term care facilities. Uh, we were preventing family members from going in. The only people allowed in were people who were working in there. Still, there have been calls for a public inquiry. The facility says it would welcome that. Are you any? The Carveries say they feel Northwood did everything possible. They're grateful her mother is still alive. And when this is over, we will be together, you understand? Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.